Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History, written by Vashti Harrison. Ruby Bridges, 1954, Activist. Ruby made history in 1960 when at the age of six, she became the first student to attend an all-white school in New Orleans. Although some other cities had already began to desegregate, as was the law since the Supreme Court ruling in 1954 declared that separate but equal was in fact not equal. There were some cities where schools were still divided by color, but after an important ruling, the court ordered the schools in New Orleans to be desegregated and Ruby was selected to be the first black student to attend William France Elementary School. Every step of the way was a challenge long before her first day. Ruby had to take an exam even to gain admissions to the school, one that was written in such a way that black students were less likely to pass. Her father feared what it might mean if she passed, but her mother pushed for Ruby to take it as the sake for her better education. Many people did not support desegregation, and on Ruby's first day, protesters surrounded the school. Ruby had to be escorted by her mother and U.S. Marshals in order to enter. She was so young. It was hard for her to grasp what was going on. Many years later, she said she thought it was a Mardi Gras celebration because of the number of people out on the streets. She had no idea they were there to protest her. Once she was inside the school, the difficulties began. Continued. White parents pulled their kids from classes, and many of the teachers refused to teach a black student. Only one person agreed to teach her, a young woman who had recently moved to Louisiana from Boston. Miss Henry became Ruby's only confidant and friend. During the, the fight for civil rights, Ruby became a symbol for the vulnerability of all Americans faced.